Hey, it's Darlene, and today I'm working on a layout. This one's a little different for me. I'm following a sketch, but you can't really tell from that post that I'm just showing you, but there's a lot of mixed media on the sketch. So I don't normally do mixed media on my layouts, which is funny because I really enjoy mixed media. Um, matter of fact, I have a junk journal, and if you're interested in seeing those pages, you can look on my playlist for junk journal, or there's also another playlist for mixed media. But for whatever reason, I like to be pretty basic with my scrapbooks. Um, so this, if you notice um, on the layout or the sketch, it had like a circle around it. So I'm just going to use a pen. I was going to use that darker one, but then I realized I wanted more of a fine point because I'm just going for it. Now, the problem is, is it looks probably more oval than circle, but um, keep on watching this because this goes from one direction to another. I thought I was going to start with a white cardstock base just so I can kind of play around with some inks and just embellishments and work from there. And you can tell I'm going through some embellishments right here. I did create a scrapbook kit if you want to call it that and it had like um, or it has hiking outdoors uh, road trippy kind of stuff just because we did a lot of hiking and we went on a really beautiful road trip from California to Utah then going through Arizona back to California so these three little pictures are part of the road trip part um, this is going from uh, Utah to um, through Arizona and um, if you've ever taken that trip it is amazing how much different um, what's the right word scenery through Arizona. When someone says Arizona, you usually think um, desert, cactuses, things like that. But there was a lot of flatland. There were some red rocks, mountains. There was even forest. Um, it's just It was just so amazing. But um, anyhow, uh, what I did is those square or rectangle quotes I took from a 12 by 12 sheet that I've had forever. And it was just full of all these just kind of random quotes. I have been using them a lot in my outdoorsy layouts. So I, I picked out all of them that had anything to do with like a road trip. So you see right here, where I just made a drastic change and I decided to use this cloud paper instead of the plain white. Now, the only problem is this paper is very thin. So that's why I decided to trim off a half an inch on two sides. So it's an 11 and a half by an 11 and a half inch square now and I'm matting it on that white cardstock. So now I need to create that circle again, right? So I take a pencil this time and I draw it and um, just kind of using it for a starting point on where to put my photos and um, embellish embellishments, which in a sense are these quotes. So again, I was trying to follow along a sketch and the sketch is from uh, Sketch and Scrap, which I'm a design team member. And I'll have a link down below in the information box, as well as a link to my blog, which will show more close up pictures and any details that um, I don't leave here. But um, because I'm really not sure what I'm doing, I'm just really fussing around with the pictures and those um, quotes. Now, um, I and originally I was just going to use those three photos all together, like as if they were one, and then I decided to cut them apart so I had better, um, uh, what do you call that? Uh, just, I was able to move them around better. Uh, so I was glad about that. Now on the sketch, there were some um, like arrows. So I used this road paper and uh, just started using those that punch. That's actually a corner, uh, photo corner punch, but they look perfect for these arrows. And I just punched them out of that paper. Again, I've had that paper and as part of that kit as well. So to me, the page is really starting to um, become like the sketch. And um, now I'm thinking, okay, now I need to, in a sense, mix media up. So what I'm going to do is instead of doing like a lot of wet stuff or just kind of going, too far off the the grid, I guess. Um, I just pulled out some stamps that I have. They're kind of, um, they're those faux, uh, like ink splatters, just random stamps like that. I grabbed a whole bunch of blue inks because I thought I was going to make it kind of a subtle stamped images on the blue cloud background. And um, I just start really just kind of going for it. And you'll notice that I'm doing kind of generational stamping, which means I ink it, do one full stamp of that full inked 
um, stamp and then stamp it again without re-inking. But I like to do that because it does add um, some dimension so it's not just all one shade of ink. So I'm doing that with this lighter ink and then I do go and I grab a different one because it just doesn't show up well enough to me. Um, and I, when I show you close-ups, you can see, you can see it, but it just uh, needs to be a little darker. Now, the one I'm using right now looks like a, a splotch, I guess. Um, I just showed you some removable or repositional, repositional bowl. <laughs> oh my God, that word. Um, glue stick. And I use these a lot because the stamp set that I'm using right now, it doesn't always stick. And I don't know if it's just probably because it maybe was dirty or just... Um, not cleaned well um, or just old use so I put a little bit of that um, removable glue stick over on the top and then on the acrylic block and it just helps it adhere a lot better so I'm, I did a bunch of splotches with that now I'm doing another these are kind of like mark making stamps and I'm just putting them here and there whatever I think looks nice um, I didn't want again to really over whelm the page because I really just have those three small photos and those photos are probably about two by three um, inches so they're not very um, big uh, what I do here is I'm just outlining each of the quote rectangles that's kind of like a signature move I guess for me I do like the outlining I think it's just something adds a little extra and it's not too much and I just freehand it I have a white ink pen right now I'm just drawing little squiggles I'm not even sure why I think I was again really kind of thinking too hard about the whole mixed media thing and um, I didn't do too much because then I thought this was kind of useless. But um, I did go through with the pen with the circles. So you see me just kind of chopping it because, you know, I'm, I'm not doing it over the embellishments. I'm doing it between. But the thing that's nice about doing it this way is my circle is not a circle. But I just keep kind of playing with it and drawing just kind of random lines uh, well, not random, it's in a circle, but, and I really shape that circle better, if that makes sense, and you'll see me as I'm messing around. I'm just doing, writing in my um, journaling, again, really trying to make that circle more of a circle and not an oval, and, um, and that's really about it. I hope you do like it. And if you do, give me a thumbs up. I do at least two videos a week. One is always on scrapbooking. The other is whatever it is I'm creating in my command center, which, like I mentioned earlier, could be mixed media stuff. So um, anyhow, I thought I was done with this. And then I just kept thinking, it has just needed something more. So I grabbed a finger dauber and some green ink. And I'm just using it to, and twisting the dauber to just make little flat circles here and there. And at first, I ink each one so they're really dark impression but then I decided to do kind of a second generational thing for that as well and I even overlap some of the circles but I really 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 like the way that that green just pops so it does match with those the green of the photos or the outdoor kind of feel plus those uh, quotes also have a lot of green so there's some close-ups I hope you like it if you do give me a thumbs up don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and um, if you have any comments, please leave them. I'll be sure to answer them. And I appreciate you watching. Bye.